Let's see if I can be quick on this one. Uh, the most recent disturbance is a leak. Our central heating wasn't operating properly and we just chatted to chums and they're like, yeah, I said the kind of thing that I expected. Sort of, yeah, well, the house hasn't been lived in for nearly six months due to the problems with moving in, of course. Um, so the boiler hasn't been on and it, it's been through much of winter not on. So when you turn it on, it repressurizes. Obviously, pressure, you know, things are going to expand and contract and all the usual. I was like, yeah, okay. But it didn't settle down. So we got a friend in who knows about plumbing and uh, he went, oh, that looks like you've got a leak. I'll have a word with a company I work for now and again. Um, so they were kind of chums, once removed. A guy came in and he did this and he did that and he had a thing that sort of gets every bit of air out of the radiators when you bleed them and all of that kind of thing. So I come back tomorrow, have a look. I had a look, yeah, something not right, you might have a leak. Um, so we were all in agreement on this and then uh, he said just, he did a few more things, did a bit of a boost and uh, said right, let me know how it is tomorrow. That night there was dripping in my parents' room and my mum got us up in the morning and said something wrong. By that time there was a patch on the ceiling and we went, oh well at least we've got an idea where the leak is. Of course the leak's travelling, it's not there at all. So I spent much of that day and the next day pulling floorboards up absolutely everywhere. Of course the leak actually is quite a distance away and in one of the worst places possible. It's very hard to see the doorway, so you can't like pull floorboards up laterally. You have to go along the leak, despite the fact that the leak's going laterally, which is a pain. And uh, finally got to the floorboard in question. It was a very odd one. There's two very fresh-looking boards. The rest have that usual old look. They're probably nearly a hundred years old. And um, I thought, oh well, this is obviously where they've done a bit of work for the plumbing. But they look very new. And I knew that the only really new stuff is upgrading the electrics, thankfully. And I thought, mm, right, okay. Popped it up, yep, there's a load of electrics. Very, very fresh, very new, very lovely. I was happy with that. And a lot of bits of wire cut off and things. And then there we noticed the leak getting worse by the second because... You can see a little hole, and the electricians had, for some reason, put a screw in the wrong place, screwed into the pipe, put the hole in, there's the offending entry and exit wound, uh, then quickly filled the hole and kind of done a botch it and scarper job. And um, over time it's been wearing away, the filler has been wearing away. Now you can tell that there's a guilty quality because the board in question was screwed down to within a billionth of a millimetre of its life, could barely get the screws up, and then it was glued horrifically to the point where I had to split the board. There you go, see, split board. Um, and... Uh, it all gave a clue that it was like, right, we won't want a wobbly board there because people will go back and try and sort it out and they'll notice there's a problem. So they've made it as uh, discreet as possible and legged it. So the fella came in and he's done that. Isn't that lovely? Um, and the extra join bit is further down. And uh, our central heating now works, which is great because we've got a really cold couple of days coming up. So... Hooray, but that's what's taken up quite a long time, yet again. Whereas we should be dealing with other things, shouldn't we? Yes. Anyway, so that's that. So, thank you for watching. See you soon. <laughs> In a postscript, the plumber said, yeah, sparkies are like that and they leave a lot of mess. In the pictures I've cleaned up so that I can get it dry. And he said, yeah, I'm not surprised, we're always having to patch up their work. Trouble is, I've known a good few, I still do know a couple of electricians, and um, decent chaps, and they say, say the same about plumbers. There you go.